Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another live stream Sunday. And guess what? We're going to talk about one of my most favorite topics. And this is the best time to do it because we're talking about the beginning of the year. I see everyone here. Listen, if you can hear me and everything is fine, please give me that thumbs up so I can know that everything is working well. Um, I see you, my comment moderator, Corvanas, I see you. Angie Hunt, I see you. I see so many of you from all over the place. I see you. Clinton Hall, Philip Tibbs, Sharon Webb, Nora P. Wade, um, Jamila Hamilton. Welcome, welcome, welcome as a member. Um, I see Adrian Free Freeman, Carlton Atkins. I see so many of you. Peace and rising and peace and blessings to you. Grand rise. And we got Tallahassee, Florida here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, today we're going to talk about dreams. And listen, I tell you guys over and over and over again, if you are not paying attention to your dreams and you're trying to get more in alignment with your sub with your subconscious and trying to manifest whatever it is you want in your life and you're not paying attention to your dreams oh my god you are missing out you are basically missing out on your subconscious mind telling you what direction you're going in for you not to only acknowledge it for you to readjust and pivot to get yourself on the right track but before we get started, I want to let you guys know, by the time you end this live stream right here, you will pay more attention to your dreams and even deliberately try to remember your dreams. And this is how important it is, you guys. Yes, I see you guys, Chicago, Cleveland, Louisiana. I love it from all over the world. Listen, this is a live stream. This is where everyone comes on Sunday mornings for their spirituality to reconnect with like-minded people. So listen, wherever you're from, give me a, give me where you're from in the chat so people can know where you're coming from. I see you, Kenya. I see you, Chicago. I see so many people. I'm a New Yorker. So you New York people, give me that shout out, okay? <laughs> so now, why am I mentioning people names in the chat? and not others, because these people are members. If you want to become a member and get extra perks, you that's the only way that I'm going to basically reach out with your name, okay? So the people that are highlighted in green are my members, and they, it lets me know that I need to really pay attention to their comments, okay? So it's no disrespect to anyone. The next thing is, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, you can no longer write comments in the chat, okay? There's too many people here, and I need to dedicate my time to the people that are actually subscribers to this channel. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget, you guys, to like this live stream if you guys want me to keep bringing you mystical, metaphysical information, okay? Blessings to you all. Listen, so now what am I going to tell you about dreams and how it's going to help you in 2024 for the good and for the bad? Now, again, if you're missing, if you're missing your dream work, I'm going to tell you right now, as a person that's been doing this since 14 years old, I would never give up dream recall. I would never give up dream interpretation. That is one thing I will not give up. And I would not give up communicating with my angels and the God that dwells inside of me. So now I don't gave you my thing. Mirror work is another thing I would never give up. So you guys should be taking a little list, taking a little hint from this and trying to broaden your knowledge about these type of topics. Okay. Hint, hint. You're only going to get this here on this live stream on this, on this station. So again, I see Brandwick Crater. I see you. I see you. Hilda Mado. I see you. Adrian Free Freeman. Jackie Mumford. I see you guys. I see you. And I see you. I see you. So now let's get to what we're going to be talking about today. Now, why am I telling you guys um, about dreams? And why am I focusing on dreams in the beginning of the year? 
okay? And it's because this is going to allow you to know where you are going in life, what direction you are going in life. If you're on the right track, and, and this is the thing, you guys, most of the time, your dreams are dealing not with the physical. It's mainly dealing with you inside eternally. Because you got to, you have to remember, whatever it is you're manifesting in your life, whether it's good or bad, it started from within. And guess what's also within? Your subconscious mind. And you have to remember, your subconscious mind is controlling almost everything you're doing besides, you know, you making the decision to do certain things in your life. When you move your hands, you don't think about it. It's automatically done by the subconscious mind. When you breathe 24 hours, seven days a week for the rest of your life, it is not done by your conscious mind. It is done by your subconscious mind. Your heartbeat, your blood running through your system, everything is through your subconscious mind, including your dreams. Now, what am I saying? Your subconscious mind knows more about you than you know about yourself. Your subconscious mind is where everything is coded, where everything is sitting there from this lifetime and for me, for many lifetimes before. Ha ha. And many lifetimes after. You have to remember, we are here to learn a lesson. We are here to learn during this human experience. And believe me, for me, in my reality, this is not my only lifetime, okay? But I may not recall it, but my, sub my subconscious mind does. And my subconscious mind knows why I'm here, what lessons I'm supposed to be learning, and what I'm doing in this lifetime right here. So I would tell you guys, you're never alone when it comes down to being here on this earth. The thing is, you need to tap into your subconscious mind through meditation, dream work, mirror work, whatever it is, to find out what it is you need to release or what it is you need to do. And this is where dreams come in. Dreams focus on your emotions and on top of that, what's going on in your life, but mainly your emotions. And you can really pay attention to your dreams to find out where you are in life or where you are concerning what you're trying to manifest in your life. And we're going to talk about that, you guys, how you can actually set the intent to ask your dreams, what is it that you need to know? Ask your subconscious mind, what is it you need to know? Your angels, what is it I'm supposed to know? What is it I'm supposed to do? And what is it I'm supposed to release? So now that I told you why is it so important to know about your dreams, let's move on, okay? Now, again, how is the subconscious mind, who is the true you, going to relate to you? It's going to relate to you or express, give you ideas or communicate with you when your conscious mind is asleep, when it is no longer thinking a million thoughts every second, okay? Your subconscious mind because this is part of your awakening, your conscious mind, it needs that to be quiet in order for it to process what's going on and to give you information. Now, remember, I just told you, your subconscious mind is basically the thing that is doing everything for you from breathing, from your heart beating and everything else. So what is it your subconscious need? It needs for that conscious mind to be quiet so that it can process what you're doing and absolutely probably get a message over to you. That's why a lot of people are always engaging in meditation to quiet your mind so that you can hear or get some type of interpretation of what is going on in your life. That's why a lot of people deal with meditation to relax your body, to relax your mind. Okay. So now Let's get right to it about dreams and how it can relay a message to you. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying so far, please give me that thumbs up, you guys. Give me that thumbs up, okay? Because this is important in my whole thing for me of being here is to spread the word, to spread the knowledge. And it's important to me that you guys understand 
So that's why I'm always speaking in simple ways, simple terms, so that you can understand. And you're not going to get that anywhere else. You're not going to get that mumbo jumbo where you're speaking a million words just to say one sentence. Not here. Here, you get the information, and I'm asking you to put it into action and use it. Okay? So now, what are the, some of the signs that you might get when it comes down to receiving messages or warnings from your dreams? Now, first sign that I'm going to tell you that is basically a sign that you really don't want to have during the dream, but if you're having it, it's good that you remember it because it's going to save your life in all ways, okay? And that is the falling dream, you guys. You guys have to understand that. You are falling. Falling from what? What's going on in your life? Are you falling emotionally, mentally, physically? What's going on that you are falling? Are you falling, getting back in time, not moving forward? What's going on? I had a falling dream many years ago, and I was on at the Niagara Falls, and I slid in the water, and I fell down and I went down and I fell right off the Niagara Falls, landed in the water and I was under the water in the submarine. Then it came to me that my ship that I was on before I fell off was 50 miles, 60 miles away. It was a clear dream telling me I was getting off track. Ah, ah, I'm back on track. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, Falling dreams is a dream you really need to remember and analyze. Why? It's because it's going to tell you, what are you doing? Not only did you have that dream, you really need to sit back right then and there and say, hmm, why did I have this dream? What are you trying to tell me, universe? What are you trying to tell me, my subconscious mind? When you have a falling dream, do not be afraid. Please lay there and try to remember every single thing that you can remember because once you get up out of the bed, you will no longer remember the details. You might remember falling, but you will not remember anything else, okay? So if you got me, if you understand that, please give me that thumbs up. Now, the next thing is, is a good part of dreaming and that is flying, okay? When you having a dream about flying, that is letting you know, hey, look, 2024, something is coming. Something is coming big. I am flying. I'm not only driving and walking or whatever, but I am flying. What is going to happen in 2024 or any year after that I am flying? When you are flying, you are reaching heights that you cannot even imagine. You are flying over the eagles, the birds, and everything else. So when you have a dream of flying, you are going somewhere. And listen, that is a dream that you might you might as well say, whoa, I know I'm going in the right direction. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I need to keep doing because I just had a flying dream. And that dream is telling me 2024, I'm going to blow up. 2024, I'm going to do something great. Now, listen, I want to tell you guys this right now. I don't care what type of dream I have. Okay, it is my guidance to let me know where I am at this moment. It is my guidance to let me know what I need to change, what I need to focus on, or what I need to sit back and say to myself, what the heck am I doing? The scarier the dreams, the more I'm going to say, what is it that I'm doing? And I appreciate those dreams even more because it's telling me you're off track. Something's going on. Okay, you guys, if you guys understand me, please give me that, give me that thumbs up, you guys, because like I said, these dreams is you. It's you telling you about you. It's you giving you information of what you may not be acknowledging. Huh? Something that you are not bringing forward in your conscious mind, your subconscious mind is saying, hey, look. Angie, you are dreaming about falling, girl. What is going to happen? Hey, look, I'm warning you, you're falling in your dream, in the mystical sense, you're falling. Maybe not on the physical sense at this moment, but mystical, mystical, in the in another dimension, you are falling. And it's a, a matter of time before that manifests on the physical lane, 
on the physical plane. Okay, you guys? You guys have to understand this. Your dreams are telling you what's already in the making. Okay? It's just a it's just you interpreting what it's trying to say because it is about to happen in your life. Okay? And we're going to get to some dreams, okay? So I don't want you guys to leave right now because I want to make sure you guys understand how your dreams are affecting you and how it can affect your life. I got a dear friend here. Love you, love you, love you, lady. I see you here. <laughs> okay. So now we spoke about flying and we spoke about falling. Okay. Now let's get to another dream everybody overlooks. Oh, Yvette, Yvette I had a dream that I was in a beautiful scene. I was in a beautiful scene. It was the, the woods. It was so beautiful. How did you get there? What was going on? How did you get there? What was your mode of transportation? Ha ha. And that is my next topic. Pay attention in your dreams how you are going and coming. Okay. Are you driving? Are you driving a bus? Are you on a train? Are you on a plane? Are you on a ship? What are you doing? Where? You see, you guys have to understand everything in your dream is you. Aha, you didn't know that, huh? Your house, you had a dream about. The car, you had a dream about. Every single thing in a dream is you. Whether it's daylight, nighttime, underneath, above, everything is about you, okay? So do not overlook certain aspects in a dream. When we're talking about the driving dreams, everyone, whoa, how are you getting there? Are you, on a, are you on a train where it's a track and you cannot even deviate off the track? You are just on that track and that track is going in one direction and that's it. And you're on there with everybody else. So you're on a train and everybody's on the same track going in the same direction and that is it, okay? Where you get off, you get off. But do you understand how that relates to your life? Who are you following? Who are you going along with? Are you going along with the crowd? What is it you're doing? You're stuck on a train that has one direction. It can't even go backwards. It's just going forward. And it's going forward with everyone on there going in the same direction. Aha. Uh -huh. Listen, I told you guys before, if I'm, on, if I'm doing something that everybody's doing it, I'm not doing it. Because as far as I'm concerned, 95% of the world, 5% of the world got all the money. 5% of the world is controlling everything. So why would I want to follow the 95%? Not me. No, never been me. Okay. So my whole thing to you is if you're on a train, what is that telling you about your life right now that you're doing? And again, if you're having a train dream right now in 2024, sit back and say to yourself, is this, am I, am I taking myself in 2024 or any year that I'm having this dream in the direction of where I want to be, of where I need to be and not where else, where everyone else is going. Okay. You guys, you guys got to understand this. We are all here to live our own lives. Some of you want to do this. Some of you want to do that. I want to write a book. I want to start a daycare. I want to open up my own restaurant. Everybody has something they want to do in life. It is never exactly the same. Even if you want to write a book, your book may be different from the next person's book. That All that information in that book is different. Why are you on a train in the dream going in the same direction with everyone else? Okay, so you got to understand. You, okay, I have a dream like that. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Buses, the same thing. You're on a bus. Somebody else is driving. You might not even be sitting in the front. You might be sitting in the back. What are you doing in your life? You are on a bus. A bus has designated stops, just like a train. Someone else is driving it. You're on there with a mass load of people. Again, joining the crowd, joining the, 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 the normal group, and you are riding. You're not even in control of where you're going, okay? You're just on a bus that basically is already set up to go in a certain direction. Now, we can go on with this. Now, ships. Ships are a little different. And why? Because you're on a grand ship. 
and you select it to get on that ship to take you to a certain destination. And that destination, destination is a journey. It's a journey taking you where you want to be. A crossing over water. What is water dreams, you guys? Please put it in the chat right there. What give somebody give it to me? What is a water dream? What is a water dream all about? And we're gonna get into that. Okay. Again, I'm telling you how to interpret your dreams to give you information, uh, emotion. Thank you, Incognito 11. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dreams about water is you. Again, everything in your dream represents you. So when you dream and you remember water, the next thing you need to know is what was going on with the water. But we're going to get to that later. Let's get back to the ship. The ship is, again, a destination. But it's a destination that's taking you on a long journey, a journey that you plan to go on yourself, okay? So this is a good dream. But you really need to know the other things that was going on in that dream, like the water, okay? Like who were you with? Your emotions, okay? All of these things are, are parts of you. If you just understand that, if you don't take anything away from this, I want you to take everything in my dream represents me. That's all I want you to understand. Everything in my dream represents me. And again, we're going to get to a couple of other things like people might be saying, well, deceased loved ones. And that's a different type of dream. And you have to distinguish between that dream and your dream. You have to distinguish between it because sometimes people have prophetic um, prop 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 prophecy. They can prophesy in their dreams and they can actually see things before things happen. And we all have that. OK, it's just the fact of you interpreting your dream a certain way. Now, the big thing that I really want to mention to you guys when it comes down to transportation is the driving dream, you guys. And this is important. Most of the time, we are our own individual, individualized selves. And a dream of you driving is so much important than any other dream for me. That dream of you driving, that car is you. The person driving is your consciousness, okay? Okay, so my whole thing is when you are in a car, you really want to pay attention to what the car looked like, what direction you're going in, where you were going, um, where you're driving, okay? You want to pay attention to all these things. Were you parking, meaning you're putting your dreams and aspirations on hold? Were you pulling off, take, pulling off? Letting me know that, hey, look, this is the start of a brand new year for me and I'm ready to take off. Were you allowing someone else to drive your car while you sat on the passenger side? Or did you even sit in the front? Did you sit in the back? What is it with your driving dream? You really need to pay attention to this. Where you were going? Did you get there late? Did you get there early? All of these things we're going to talk about briefly moving forward. So that's enough about buses, cars, trains, everything. And I already spoke to you about driving. Wherever you were going, the dream that is the most important to me, I understand the flying on the plane and the, 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 the ship is important as someone has aspirations and they're reaching their goals. But when you're driving in a car, you really want to pay attention to, am I in control of where I'm going? Am I in control? OK, I had a dream one time that I had a dream that I was in a car, but my super was driving. But let me just say. I was in the front seat telling him what to do. OK, so that was OK with me because he was the super of my apartment building. OK, and I was dictating to him what to do. So, yes, he was driving. He was the one maneuvering, taking care of everything. But I was in the front telling him how I want everything done. So that was OK. And it worked out exactly the way the dream was putting it out there. OK. So now the next thing is besides driving is people in your dream. OK. So people have dreams about people. They're like, oh, my God, I had a dream about such and such. I had a dream about such and such. I had a dream about such and such. Look, listen, again, there's different types of dreams. OK. Sometimes your subconscious mind will give you a dream about someone 
because that someone has something in common with you, with what's going on in your life right now. If you have a dream about someone in your family or someone you know, and that person was on drugs, you and then you have a dream, in that dream, someone else was in that dream or yourself. What is it that you have in common with that person or what is it that that person has in common with the other person in your dream, okay? It could be your deceased loved one connecting with you to let you know, I'm here because you are in the midst of a problem similar to what I was in. You may not be using drugs, but that person is, hint, hint. And then you overlook it, okay? Dreams are powerful. And, and I, I would not, again, I would never give up dreams. Now, there are type of dreams where you might have a dream about someone and then something happened. Now, I will tell you this. Most of the time you have a dream about a particular person, it is usually not that person, okay? You really need to, to pull it out and see what this dream is trying to tell you. Look at all the things that are going on. You have a dream about this person, but this person had baby clothes on. Okay, it's not that person, okay? There's a lot of things you really need to look at to in order for you to find where you're going in life. You have a dream. You're with a boyfriend and the boyfriend is not treating you right. You have a dream about an ex-boyfriend who treated you horrible. This dream is coming to you to let you know you're in the same type of um, predicament in this lifetime, in this particular time, especially in 2024. You had a dream, your ex-boyfriend from 10 years ago, who was horrible. Now you're having that dream. Why am I having that dream? Because the guy I just got with, he's no different from the person that I had 10 years ago. There is so many things that tell you what direction you're going in and what it is you need to do to get out. It is just that simple. Now, the next thing I want to let you know, when it comes down to you guys moving forward, in 2024 and a year after. Not only do you need to pay attention to what's going on in your dream, you need to pay attention to are you getting there early or are you getting there late? That is self-explanatory. Hey, you're driving the car. Every light you reach on the road turns red. You have to stop. You have to stop. You're getting panicky in your dreams because in your dream, you are late getting somewhere, okay? If you understand what I'm saying, give me... Give me that thumbs up. And I see that comment of, I don't have dreams anymore. That is impossible, okay? And I will explain that to you. You're just not um, doing dream recall. You, you just totally let it go. It's happening and you're not getting your messages. Late and early is going to tell you how you, what you're doing in your life. I'm late. You're late in life. You're late going towards whatever it is you're trying to do. I am early. Hey, that's beautiful, okay? Whatever it is, pay attention late, early, okay? The next thing is floods. Whoa, everybody has floods, okay? The one time that I had a flood, I actually did have a flood in my house, in my townhouse, right here. Yes, right here. I had a dream that I was outside walking in water up to my, I guess up to my knees or a little lower than my knees. My house flooded. Okay, so that was letting me know that it was going to happen. It was a, it was a prophetic dream to let me know it was going to happen. Okay, so there is cases that you might have a dream to show you something is about to happen. Okay, again, analyze your dreams. Either way, it's always telling you and warning you about things to come. Okay, when you have a dream about flooding, flooding could be actually a flood is coming. Or it can mean your emotions are building up. What's going on in your life that you're letting your emotions take control? You are losing control of your emotions. Ha ha, it's coming up. Like, I cannot take it, Yvette. It's like, <laughs> this situation is like up to my neck. I can't take it. Hint, hint, dreams about water. What's going on? It's a flood. The flood is your emotions and it's building up. It's up to you to realize what it's talking about. Look at all the other things that are going on. Is it daylight? Is it nighttime? All of these things you need to pay attention to. 
Now, the other one is fire. And that's self-explanatory. What's going on? What's burning up in your life? What is totally getting out of control that it's going to explode or it's going to have a fire? Listen, you need to understand your dreams. If it's something and you feel a fire, have a dream, and the fire is a light inside of you, that could be a spiritual awakening, okay? There's so many things that you need to sit back, take time, and understand your dreams, okay? Now, one that is a lot of people talk about, and that is the death dream, okay? You guys, death. The death dream, most of the time, do not actually mean a death. Sometimes we get dreams and they can mean, as I stated before, a literal death, okay? But most of the time, never fear when you have a dream about death, okay? When you have a dream about death, most of the time, it will not come in your dream as a death, okay? When I dream of death, I dream of transformation, okay? Transformation. Another sign of a transformation would be a snake shedding its skin. You had a dream about a snake. A snake, what does a snake do? It sheds its skin. The same thing. You had a dream about a, a caterpillar that turned into a butterfly. Again, transformation, okay? You guys have to understand this. Now, a snake also can mean an enemy. If you are afraid of snakes, that can mean an enemy. But at the same time, most of the time, when you dream about snakes, snakes can mean transformation or it can mean you need to get away from a particular person. Now, this is this is how I distinguish um, a snake dream. That snake dream that you had, did it have a color? Was it red? Do you know somebody that you hang around with that has red hair? Was it a big fat snake? Do you know somebody that you're around that you're questioning that was fat? Was it a real black snake, green snake, bay snake? Listen, all of these things are there for a reason, okay? Your subconscious mind is not going to speak to you like, oh, it was her, she had this. It's not going to do that. Look at the snake. What is it about that snake can tell you about what the snake is representing, okay? Hint, hint, okay? Everything in your dream means something, okay? But for me, a snake dream is transformation, okay? For me, transformation. Okay, so now we talked about death. Okay, let me just give you an example of my death dream because I'm um, to give everybody an understanding. When I had a dream of a death, it was not a death. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this again. When I have dreams about people leaving my life, leave things leaving my life that is no longer for me, and I am now at the point of releasing this from my life. I will have a death dream about that particular thing, that particular person. Now, my death dream might be someone going into the cornfield. That is actually my death dream, not a literal dream, a, a dream of that person or that thing leaving my life. They went in the cornfield and I was sad, but they left. And I realized once that happens, I am no longer interested in that particular person. It was like my subconscious mind was saying, you are now ready. You are now ready to release this. So let's send this to the cornfield. Okay. So it's not a death. Okay. A death dream could also mean transformation for me. Okay. Another thing for me, when I dream of death, my death is usually black. When I say black to the point where you cannot even see in front of your face. When I dream of a black, black, black animal, that particular animal died. My dog, um, a cat, you know, whatever it is. When I dream about black, 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 to the point that you cannot miss it in a dream because it's so black, that is my death dream, okay? It's not like the dream showed me someone dying. It just showed me that particular thing, black, black, black. Somebody leaving my life was in the cornfield. Okay. So again, you have to understand your dreams, understand them, and it will lead you or show you what you're in, what you're headed for in this year or any year afterwards. 
Now that was getting to the animals. Animals. When you have a dream of animals, everybody's dream about animals is different. Okay, you guys, I might have a dream about an animal and you might have a dream and it's totally different. I love animals. I love dogs. I love cats. I love horses. You might hate dogs and afraid of dogs. So when you have a dream of a dog, that, that dream of that dog could be an enemy for you. Okay. That dream of a dog for me might be um, unconditional love. When an animal attacks you or bites you, that is your emotions getting totally out of control. Ha ha, ha ha, it bit you. Your emotions getting totally out of control. Because I've just finished telling you, most of the time, everything in a dream represents you, okay? And you guys have to understand that. And a lot of times, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do that next. The next dream I'm going to talk about is the chase dreams, okay? And this is a dream that I'm telling you, when you have this type of dream, you really need to sit back and analyze and say, what is it I'm not acknowledging in my conscious mind? What is it that I'm putting off? What is it that I'm supposed to be doing in this lifetime? When you have the chase dream, that dream of chase is actually you. It's almost like the Wizard of Oz. They pulled back the curtain and there was a little man sitting there. Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker pulling the mask off of Dark Vader and it ended up being a father, his father, a part of him. When you have the chase dreams, the chase dreams is you chasing you. If you are into lucid dreaming or anything else, you turn around and you confront whatever's chasing you, which is extremely hard, okay, because you're afraid. You will find out that that is you. And you will find out that you are in awakening, ready to take that next level, take that next step in your life. The chase dream is something you are not expressing in your waking life. And it's trying to find in your dreams, in your subconscious mind, a way of out, a way of being expressed. So it's expressing itself in your dreams by chasing you. Wait, wait, wait. That's what it's saying. And you're running. Why? Because it's powerful. And if it's powerful because it's something you really need to do, it's going to show up as something powerful. Mine showed up as a, as a monkey. And then I watched it grow until it was like King Kong. Okay? Years later, it just kept growing until it became King Kong. Lions. Okay? I had a dream about lions. I had dreams, so many dreams about animals chasing me. For years until I started doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? Animals, it's all about you. And again, once you realize everything in a dream represents you, then you'll understand. Okay? So now, again, another dreams that you need to know about is above and under. When we're talking about under, we're talking about your subconscious mind. Things that you are not acknowledging in real life, in your awakening life. When we're talking about above, we're talking about aspirations, moving up, trying to reach higher levels, okay? Could be higher levels of spirituality, or it could be just higher levels in life and period, period. So when you are climbing, moving up, going out, going up, you are climbing up in your awakening life, okay? Now you need to pay attention to what happened at that time. Did you, were you in a house? Again, your house represents you, okay? And you're going up. What happened? Did you get to the attic and couldn't get out? That means something's holding you back, that you need to break through. Did you climb through a window? A window is another opening for you to broaden your horizons, okay? A closed window is keeping you shut. It's keeping you stuck. And listen, nobody's keeping you stuck but you because the house, is you. And the windows are closed. The doors are closed. That is you keeping yourself shut from whatever it is you want this year or any year afterwards. Okay. Most of the times when you are ready to take that next move, that door will open. You will have that same dream again. And that door will open. That window will open. That You will break through that ceiling. Or you will find yourself now on the top of the roof outside. 
Aha. If you guys understand what I'm saying, please just give me that thumbs up, okay? Doors opening up for you. Doors being shut. These are things. These are warnings from your subconscious mind. Hey, look, you need to you need to make take action. You need to do what you need to do. You need to release whatever needs to be released so that you can move on. You need to open that door. You need to shut that door, let him go and move on. What if you need to send him to the cornfield? <laughs> whatever it is, you guys. Okay. I'm trying to tell you how your dreams and your subconscious mind speaks to you in symbols, in symbolic form to help guide you through this year and any year afterwards. Climbing dreams are self-explanatory. You're climbing, climbing what? Are you climbing it with your feet? Are you driving it in a car? I had the climbing dream. The climbing dream was a mountain. I was going up. Every time I would go up, I would slide back down. It was steep. I would go up, slide back down. I had this dream for a long, long time. And then all of a sudden, maybe a year later, I had the same dream. But instead, when I went up, I realized it was difficult. And then I went around it. I went over a little bridge where there was a little river at the bottom. And I went over the little, the little bridge and I went around the, the mountain making my journey easier, <laughs> okay? The same dream over and over and over. Not every night. I had it one month, two months later, same dream. Six months later, same dream. Then all of a sudden, a year, two years later, I'm going around the mountain. My subconscious mind is like, okay, you realize it's time to move on. Let Okay, you finally got it. It took you a year or two, but you finally got it. So let me tell you what's about to happen next. Okay. The dream of me falling off the Niagara Falls. I had a dream a year later of that same dream. And the, 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 the manager of the submarine telling me, hey, look, we found your ship. We got a boat waiting for you to take you back to your ship. Whoa. A whole year later telling me I got off track for a whole year. And the dream was letting me know it's time for you to catch your ship, okay? I had dreams of being with the elite. I had dreams of me being with very famous people and there being a door. And I couldn't take everyone with me. I couldn't take everyone with me, okay? And I had that dream a couple of times because they weren't ready. It wasn't because of me. It was they were not ready, okay? And I was there holding back because I wanted to take them all with me. The dream was letting me know everyone has their own life, but this is yours. You need to walk through your door. Now, listen, it doesn't have to mean famous people or anything like that. It just means I was on my path and my path, I have to go on my journey because other people have their own journey. If you understand what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up, you guys. Give me that thumbs up, okay? So I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. When we're talking about sunrise, sunrise, new beginnings, when we're talking about sunset, we're talking about endings to relationships, okay? When we're talking about um, numbers, paying attention to numbers, you guys, maybe you people that like to play lotto and anything else, play those numbers those or, 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 or break those numbers down to find out what those numbers mean. You had a dream about um, two, five, seven, okay? Have faith. New beginnings are happening for you. Luck is on its way and you are on the right path. Ha ha. Ha ha. Then you want to add those numbers up. Two, five, seven, 14. Okay. You're a leader. You're independent. Stop making moves. Okay. And the angels are with you. And you're on, you're, you're, you're basically at a position at this moment that you're stable. These are nothing in your dreams are by accident. And the more you analyze your dreams, the more you are going to get guidance and information of what's ahead for you in 2024 or any year afterwards. If you understand what I'm saying, please give me that thumbs up, you guys. We spoke about late and early floods, fires, death, animals, under, over, climbing, um, open, falling, flying, modes of transportation. Who's driving? Okay people in your dream, okay? All of these things, all of these things are about you. 
And again, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this as many times as I can. I never would give up anything mystical. My dreams is one thing that would never go. I would sit there and do dream recall. Now, let me give you this real briefly because we're already been on for 45 minutes. And this is a topic I can talk about for the next four or five hours. Okay. Dream recall. You get yourself a small book. I don't care what it is. And I will have a dream recall book journal coming out. Okay. In the next couple of weeks, there will be a dream recall journal. And what I'm telling you to do, if you don't have it, or if you do have it, just take a notebook or something small, put it on your nightstand or put it next to your bed. Okay. Or put it under your pillow. I don't care where you put it and something to write with. Okay. When you wake up, I need you to not get out of the bed and just say, what did I have a dream about? Don't even focus too much. Just, just think about what you had a dream about. The more your conscious mind kicks in, the less you are going to remember. And you have to remember this. Your conscious mind is going to block out your subconscious mind. Okay. And what you got in that dream was part of your subconscious mind telling you what you're looking at, telling me, telling you what's going on. You need to say, driving, everybody's in the car, car broke down, nighttime, scared, dog barking, all of these things, because they all mean something. They were in your dreams for a reason. They all mean something. Every night I need you to do this. Now, listen, you guys, you have about three to four or five dreams every single night. OK, you just don't recall them. Soon as you go into the REM, the REM state, you are dreaming. That's rapid eye movement, everyone. Everyone dreams. If you did not dream, you will probably be on a psych ward at this point or have some type of psychiatric problems. Dreams occur while you are in REM sleep. REM sleep, real dreams, deep dreams, REM sleep, rapid eye movement is because your body has been paralyzed while you're sleeping. When you go to sleep, your body lets out whatever endorphins, I don't know what it is it does to paralyze you so that you do not get up and run out the door or walk out the window or whatever else is going on. The body is amazing. Your eyes are looking, experiencing the whole thing. And that's where we get rapid eye movement. Your eyes are moving because you are walking through a door. You are climbing a mountain. You are um, driving the car. Whatever it is, your eyes are seeing everything. That is rapid eye movement. You are dreaming. This is how your subconscious mind releases whatever it is absorbing. It, it, um, it analyzes. It puts it together. Remember, your subconscious mind is what's doing everything. And it needs to process what it is you, your subconscious mind, your conscious mind is giving it. You're giving it a whole lot of arguments. You're giving it a whole lot of difficulties, a whole lot of emotions. You give everything you're giving your subconscious mind during the day. It is now at night processing it because that conscious mind has shut up and went to sleep. And it's like, oh my God, arguments, all this stuff going on. And it's trying to process it, okay? And it's telling you what you're headed for or what you're doing. Hey, look, hey, look, uh, Kavanas, oh, listen, all this arguing every single day, I'm processing it. You, the, you, you're sending yourself in this direction. This is where you're going. And, and okay, this is what you're attracting, okay? And, and it's processing it. So everyone dreams. The thing is, you need to, every morning, dreams up, door, closed, window, closed, sun shining, on top of roof, now inside attic, in basement, all of that stuff you need to start paying attention to. Now, the next thing that I would tell you to do at night before going to sleep, while you're in the bed, you say subconscious mind, I am asking you for guidance in my life. I am asking you for information about my life. Whatever it is you have to tell me, I'm asking you 
for me to recall it in the morning. I expect to recall my dreams in the morning. I expect to remember my dreams in the morning. I respect to remember, and I am getting better and better at remembering my dreams every single day. Okay? That's all you need to do for basic dream recall. Set the intent to remember your dreams. Even if you remember ran, dog, one word, I don't care. Write that down. Put the date and write that down. The next day, dog, cat, house, molded, flooded. Now you remember five words, okay? And the more you do this, the more it's going to take a story form. Like what I said, someone went into the cornfield. That was an actual story that I recall. Me falling off the Niagara Falls, landing in a submarine, and then a year later getting back to where I was, that is a story. It's letting me know the direction I'm headed, what's going on, and then I stayed there for a whole year. It's a story. And let me just tell you this before I leave this all alone. Your subconscious mind dreams are just as real as your physical during the day. Which one is the dream? You tell me. Your subconscious knew it before it happened. So which one is the dream? In spirituality, you have to start looking at things a little different. What is real and what is not? Are both of these things real? And my answer to you is yes, they are. Absolutely. You are that dog. You are that water. You are that, that sun. There is, everything is connected. And all of these things represent you because you are these things. And I just want to tell you that, okay? I love dreams. I love dream recall, interpretations, whatever you want to call it. It is my go-to. So now listen, everyone. I just told you guys and spoke a long time about dreams, dream in, in, um, in, interpretation for 2024. This is the time you guys need to get all the information you need to know. And again, we're going to do another one on lucid dreaming one day, okay? I do have plans to have classes on, you know, maybe a, a, a couple few hours on certain classes that help you learn how to do these things. And again, it's all coming. It's all pulling together. Just stick with this channel. I'm here for you. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell. Listen, join membership, everyone. Membership is there for the extra perks for this channel and to support this channel. Again, we are here every Sunday morning for live Sundays at My World of Metaphysics. If you want to do scripting, don't forget about my 369 Manifestation Journal that was created by me just for the 369. Again, there's some other journals coming out and my first book, actual full book will be out within the next couple of months. So again, you guys, blessings to you all. I'm going to get to some of the comments, okay? And if you guys do want a reading or coaching or whatever you want for the beginning of the year or anytime afterwards, the links are there too. And if you want to buy crystals, candles, sage, anything to help you with your spirituality or your psychic ability or dream recall, everything is there, you guys. Hit the link, go to the shop, and look, everything is there for you. So again, you guys, I'm going to say namaste, and I'm going to get to the comments and enjoy your Sunday. Hello, 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 everyone. I got too many comments and I know I'm not going to be able to get to all these comments. So please don't, don't, don't feel that I'm leaving you out. Okay. I love it. I love it. Many people are saying good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, the, the members, let me get to them first. Jackie Mumford, um, Kim Clay. Hello. Good morning. Brand with Crater. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have here Quivana's, uh, Quivana said Texas. <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have Hilda Matio is here. Matio is here. Um, she said Florida. Love it. Adrian Freeman is here. Jackie Mumford. Oh, everybody's putting where they're from. Angela McBroom is here. Thank you for being a member. I love it. 
Um, Delia Jamison is here, Grand Rising. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, everyone. Robin Clement um, Macy says, good morning. Um, watching from Cleveland, Ohio. I love it. Angie Hunt is here, Carlton Atkins, Sharon Webb, Quivana's Antone, Marie Oracine, or, um, Oracine. I love it. Hello, Marie. Hello. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't see you that often, but welcome as a member. Welcome. Um, everybody's giving a thumbs up. Dale, Dalia Jameson is here. Um, everybody's giving a Nora P. Webb. Okay. Angie Hunt. Yes. Valuable information. Um, what else do I have here? Yes, Donna Full is here. I love it. And I love the, I love the, um, I guess that's the earth. I love it. Or oh, water, water. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Allie said, and thanks, Allie, for becoming a member. She said, um, she said, I had a dream about me and my husband making oh, passionate love. It was so weird. I never had a dream like this. It's not bad. Just wanted to know what this dream could mean. Again, um, sexual acts in a dream is more, uh, it, it's more than what you may think. It's more about power. Were you dominating him? Was he dominating you? All of this stuff takes effect and it means a whole lot, but it, it can mean coming together. It can mean absolutely having more control over your life. It could be a better life, having fun. Um, but at the same time, you need to look at more of what was going on in the dream. Okay. Ali is dreams are more about digging into what else was going on. Erica Bradley is here. Um, Carlton Atkins says smoking. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Philip Tibbs is here. Dioki Superstat said, good morning, Miss Yvette and my extended family. Sorry, I'm late. You're never late, Dioki. Okay. I recently dreamt of a funeral, but there was no dead body. Again, again, everybody, remember about the funerals. Remember about the awakening. Um, basically, a lot of times we have a dream about a death. It could mean it could mean a it could be a prophet dream, but at the same time, it could ask, absolutely mean a transformation. So look at everything, okay? So Dia Notion is here. Sharon sixty five Cooper Skin is here. Keto Camille Music, I love it. I love it. Hello Keto, Keto, you're new too. I love it. Sharon sixty five Super Skin, you're not new, <laughs> okay? So Dia knows she said, what about if you forgot the details of the dream? I cannot help you. If it's gone, it's gone. Okay. You can ask your subconscious mind to show you a sign and tell you more. Um, Keto Camille Music said, I recently had a dream about a former student that I experienced on an un un unpleasant interaction with. Any insight? Listen, again, everybody in your dream represents you. And it could mean what you're attracting. And at the same time, look at that person. If you no longer have that person in your life and say, hey, what is it about this person that is affecting me at this moment right here? Maybe someone else is irritating you right now, but look at the full dream and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, Angie Hunt, a lot of people. Um, I love this event. I love it. I love it. Um, so Dia knows she said, I forgot my dreams. <laughs> Gravanas. Okay. Um, okay. Anybody else? Um, let me try to see what's going on here. Nor P. Mate, um, P. Wade said, I use, I use voice recordings to remember my dreams. Yes, Nora. That is another thing. You can actually, if you have a recorder or even if you use your phone, phone is maybe a little difficult, but some people actually have a recording and they actually record very quickly what it is they have a dream about. They have a recording. They, they just start speaking words, whatever it is they recall. So that's good. A, hello, A. And again, thank you for being a member. She said, I really need to do better with writing my dreams down. Absolutely. And it's to the point now that I write my dreams down. Sometimes I don't, but I tell you one thing, I will not get out of the bed unless I repeat what I see in my dream over and over again, putting it in my conscious mind. Okay. That's another tip. Angie McBroom, she's here. Angie McBroom, Broom. hello, hello, Angela McBroom, hello, 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 and thank you for being a member. Um, okay, so I'm going on. Um, okay, so now we're going to go back up real quick. I'm going to go briefly through some of the uh, messages here. Okay, we got people from all over the world. I'm not going to go through all the places, but we do have Indiana, for Texas, Virginia, Texas, Georgia, San Diego, Houston, New York. I love it. Uh, 
South Carolina, Georgia, Maryland, Atlanta, Colorado, Jersey, Alabama, Cleveland. Um, so many people from Savannah, so many people from all Canada, um, so many people from all over is here. Again, one of my dear friends is here. Um, blessings to you. Um, Geraldine Link, good morning, Southfield, Michigan. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, we, oh my God, I had a falling dream, woke up before I hit the ground. Two weeks later, I slipped and fell and wet on a wet floor at work. Absolutely. When I had my dream about my car accident, a week, two weeks later, I had a car accident. I tried everything to avoid having a car accident, not realizing somebody was going to hit me. But my dreams let me know clearly I was about to be in an accident. Okay? So blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I really need this because I've been having crazy dreams. Absolutely. And again, get yourself a great dream book. Okay? I use a dream book that I don't have on me. It's upstairs. It's a dream interpretation book. It's a small book. And I use that. And um, Or you can go online and do um, dream interpretations. Okay? Um. Okay, somebody said, I had a dream last night. I was about to fall and, and drown into a giant lake of scratched off. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Maybe you might hit the lotto. So listen, that's a good dream. I dreamt of my older 19-year-old son driving me around. Again, who's in control of your life? You got to remember that, okay? Is your 19-year-old controlling your life? Forward movement. I love it. Thank you. I dream of my best friend. Um, talking to me after so long. What does that mean? Again, maybe you need to reach out to that person. And again, whatever it is that you have in common with that best friend, start looking at yourself. And, and again, you can reach out to that person. I've always been, I'm, I'm, I am always being chased again, because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So that's why you're going to continue being chased. You got to let it go. I dream of my best friend talking to me after so long. Okay. Thank, thank, uh, uh, absolutely. Listen, when you're having dreams about talking, friendship, these are things that could be on your subconscious mind. These are things your subconscious mind could be working out. Reach out to that person and look, don't feel bad if that person don't want to talk to you. You are on your own journey. You need to release and let go, okay? Um, thank you for the understanding a, bit, understanding a little better now. This one right here, I can't understand the writing. Um, I, I love it though. Is um a Bata Bata? I will say your name, and um I it's probably Hindu, but I will try. Well, I can't. Well, if I can, I'll try to interpret it afterwards. Okay. I've been doing a lot of um affirmations and sublim sublimations at night, and the gunk has been hiding away, and my deepest fears are coming up and clear the subcon subconscious for my blessings. Okay, uh, absolutely. Listen again. Whatever you're paying attention to at night, whatever you're listening to at night, remember that also affects your subconscious mind and it affects your dreams. So please be very careful what you're listening to at night, especially while you're sleeping, okay? That is one powerful way to um, mess with your subconscious mind. And it's basically saying, this is what I want. This is what I want, okay? So be careful, okay? Okay. Um, but I'm, I try to tap into my spiritual connection to God um, to straighten them by prayer, faith, a little deep inner knowing. Listen, when we're talking about connecting with your subconscious mind, it can be done in many different ways. God has given us dreams, okay? Meditation is another way. Prayer work is another way. These are all ways. And dreams is a, God created us and created us to have dreams. So everything God has created, which is everything you see on earth, has been made for a particular reason. Uh, I haven't had any dreams lately either. You had them, you're just not listening to them. Uh, hey, Bet, I'm happy I caught you live. Thank you for being here. I'm staying up too long. Oh, <laughs> good fine. Everyone clocking in. Um, South Africa. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dreams about police in my house, not in my, not in a bad way. Again, when you start looking at authorities in your life, authorities in your life is um, meanings of you judging yourself, okay? Police, judges, lawyers. These are things that I would say is connected to how you look at yourself, how you look at your life. And the and for them being in your home, your home represents you. So that further tells me your police dreams are about you and how you see in your life. It's almost like you probing your own self, okay? 
I have been dreaming of snakes. Again, look and see how those snakes are. Are they friendly? Are, are, do they look like someone? Are they a certain color? <laughs> dreaming about rain. Again, rain, water. It's all emotions, okay? What's, what else is going on in the dream, okay? So remember that. Bathing under the rain. That's a, that's a cleansing, okay? That's a bathing under the rain. That's a cleansing, okay? Again, rain is emotions, okay? And it's release. The same way as defecating and urinating. These are all signs of release, you guys. Um, dreaming numbers, okay? Could I? Um, how could I get my dreams back? Um, the, there is. You can ask for guidance and it'll give you another dream, okay? <laughs> okay. I dreamt that I was, um, was on the other side. I said, I can't stay. It's my 30th birthday. This dream was 10 years ago. Okay, but like I said, we got to look. I'm not going to interpret interpretate everybody's dreams on here, but um, but I because I can't. There's too many, and we're already over an hour, you guys. Black snakes in my dreams. A month ago, I dreamt three snakes and one red, two black. <laughs> Little probably enemies. Uh, for real, that's crazy, man. God shows us stuff for a reason. Absolutely. Um, now that I make sense to me, at that time I could understand why because nothing happens to cause such. Um, what if you have multiple things happening in one dream? Again, you're looking at everything in your dream and you're putting everything together. We don't dream one dream. We dream three and four and one dream takes you into the next dream. It's just that you don't remember them. What's the meaning of seeing deceased loved ones? Again, deceased loved ones, it, come, it could be basically a warning. It could be, again, all of these things um, I discuss in the thing, in the, um, in the live stream. And it's all about, you know, what else is going on with the dream? Are they giving you a message? And possibly, are they representing you and letting you know what's going on in your life? Okay? So again, um, I forgot my dreams again. Um, what it means if a person asks you their phone number in a dream. Again, I'm not going to do in dream interpretations with all of these things, okay? Um, a phone number, again, remember the phone number? At, remember the number and break down that number, okay? Break down your number, okay? Okay? Everything we see inside of us, all the answers are inside of us. Absolutely. And I love your name. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can you please help me get my dreams back? I cannot help you get your dreams back. You've got to speak to your subconscious mind. Um, blue locusts to introduce dreaming. Okay. Um, I use voice recording. I really do. Okay. I appreciate this channel. All things are on YouTube as it is here. I love it. I love it. I love it. First time here on this channel, and I love it. Hello, blessings, and thank you for being here. I need a good resource to help translate my dreams. Absolutely, Google, okay? And, and get yourself a good dream recall book. I will later put some links for Amazon to get to dream recalls, okay? Uh, dream recall, dream interpretation. Okay, we have free will to change things. Absolutely. I received my products, love them. Thank you, Incognito. I love it, I love it, I love it. Missy, that kindly help um, about dreaming about police in my life. Okay, we just spoke about police. Um, dreams of winning money. Absolutely. Play the lotto. Do whatever. Just know that something good is happening in your life, okay? Watch, um, watch you every morning. Hello, blessings to you, and thank you for watching me. I love it. It's people from all over the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got so many here. I cannot go through all of these. I had a dream about... Um, my mom who passed away, she didn't raise me, but I do know in a dream that she was so beautiful. Again, she could be coming to you offering comfort or she can be relaying to you love, okay? Um, Nicole, there was a recall on the Quaker Oaks. Oh, I don't know what that is. This was a um, very good se um, session. Of, I love it, I love it, I love it. What's the meaning? I'm driving and walking. Again, we just spoke about ocean, waters, driving. We spoke about all of these things, again. They're all indicating your emotions and the direction you're going in if you're in control. I just started dreaming of flying again. I haven't had those in a flying and take it, take it as far as you want to take it, okay? I love the flying dreams, okay? I just had one. Um, last night, lucid dream of being at my childhood res resident and this huge wall of water was outside. Again, remember, you guys, emotions. What, what is getting out of control, okay? My reoccurring dreams is a plane coming down on fire. Again, watch your life, see what's going on in your life and pivot. You have the right to change your life. It's up to you. I had a dream about three Panthers being in the house, trying to get away from them. Again, what are you running away from in life? I had a dream about pigeons. Not sure what it means. <laughs> I love pigeons. Okay. Okay. They're still birds. They still fly. 
just look at more of the dreams, okay? i like to become a member. Again, hit the join button for membership. Okay, happy new year, everyone. I use the amethyst crystal under my pillow. I love it, I love it, I love it. If um, she just brought up a good point, if you want to have better dream recalls, which I would speak about on another time, crystals that you can use is the lapis lazuli. You can absolutely use the amethyst. These are all crystal, um, crystal clear quartz. These are purple stones, um, the Pedialyte, all of these stones will help you with your dream recall, okay? Desert, Desert Rose, all of these things will help you, okay? Snow, um, Snowflake Obsidian, but the Amethyst is my number one, okay? Blessings to you guys all. I have to go. It's way over our time. We're about to enter a new time um, time record <laughs> for being on this long. Again, blessings to all of you guys. Again, we are here every, every Sunday morning. This is a metaphysical channel that offers spiritual information, a metaphysical information to take your life to the next level. Again, blessings to you guys all. I'm going to sign off. And again, I'll see you next Sunday. And please don't forget to watch the other videos. I will put a link in the description for dream books. Okay. Namaste.